Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi to everyone so let us now continue with the end part of our uh, topic number four subject the nine complex power consumed by three phase loads so now remember by the conversion of conservation sorry of complex power is principle the total complex power supply to the load is equal to the sum of complex power supply to all the three phases that is s this is the total s equal to complex power <coughs> consumed or uh, supplied by uh, so, sorry consumed by uh, r phase the red phase plus the total uh, sorry complex power consumed by y and plus the, the complex power consumed by b so where we have sr this is equal to okay vrn i rn conjugate so remember the symbol conjugate so sb equal to vbn ib again so this is conjugate as well as sy vyn i iy is conjugate so these are all in the phase quantities right bn as well as vyn so this relationship applies for both the balanced load as well as the unbalanced load. So it is especially useful when we have to find the total power consumed by unbalanced three-phase load since the formula for the balanced load case cannot be used, cannot be used. So we will look how it means uh, by this paragraph. So one good example here three phase uh, three identical coils each having a resistance of again 20 ohm and inductance of 0 0.5 henry are connected in star to a three phase supply of 400 volt 50 hertz so calculate the line current total relative power total relative power as well as apparent power absorbed by the load so what we do have here is actually <clears throat> this uh, three uh, again uh, impedance the phase impedance all three uh, identical all right so we do have the line to line voltage between r to y uh, so we have r to b as well as uh, this one is y to b all right so this is the phase voltage and so we divide by square root Square root 3. So given R equal to 20 ohms, so L equals 0 0.5 H, therefore, so XP 2 pi again, this is the frequency, right, this is the frequency, so this is the value of L, and it give us 157 ohms. So coil impedance is in phase, we have RP plus JXP, so this is a kind of value. Right, in terms of rectangular unit. So phase voltage is divided by 400 divided by square root 3. So choosing VRN as the reference phase, we can write VRN equal to what? 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. So remember this is phase value. So we should pick from here. Okay, the phase value and put it here. Okay, remember VRN is the reference. So we keep 0 as the reference value. Of the angle so again VYN 231 so the magnitude is same so pick from here to here and then this is minus 100 degree away or apart from the first phase so, and then the second or the third phase <coughs> still 231 and positive 122 120 sorry uh, volt zero uh, degree volt so therefore, the line current according to Ohm's law, I R R I R equal to V R N over Z R N. So this give us 1.46 minus 82.74 degree ampere. Okay. So since the load is balanced, then I Y equal to Z Y N again Ohm's law over Z Y N. So just pick the value of V Y N. We just calculate. Okay, just now, so we have the ZYN, so this give us IY equal to 1.46, 157.27 1, 1, Ampere. Alright, so IB, VBN, over ZBN, so again, so this is the value we have 
I call it earlier so we have the same value of uh, phase impedance so we get uh, absolutely the absolutely the same value the magnetic value but with different angle okay so uh, so we have done first ir so this is i y this is i b is it a line of phase current yes it's a line and this is also equal to the phase current since connection is in star this means i line equal to i i i phase all right then from here so complex power consumed by zrn is so remember this equation so we have uh, the phase complex power equal to phase voltage multiplied by i square r phase okay, it can be also lines so we are n 231 zero angle so this is the reference for rn okay and then the i conjugate so now we have positive value over here if you compare to the initial or the original value of ir itself it shows that the value is negative okay so once you uh, convert to i or transform into ir conjugate so now the polarity is changed to positive so solve this and now the uh, value of srn is 37.26 so degree is 60.5 or 65 uh, VA volt ampere. So coverage power consumed by ZYN is SYN. So similar steps to BYN and the I conjugate over here. So replace the value or substitute the value of uh, Y phase voltage and also the current we calculate previously and we get the new sy and 337.26 angle of minus 130.91 about ampere okay similarly for zbn the third phase so sbn vbn i conjugate ib conjugate so again set to all the value so we will get 337 82.73 volt ampere. So what about the total power consumed by the these three loss impedance? So just sum up all the value we calculate previously. So and then from here you get the total complex power consumed by these three load is one 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 zero one two uh, eighty two point seven three degree volt ampere so therefore total apparent power supply to the load is so modulus s so, so just take the value the magnetic value it is giving us 1012 volt ampere so active power consumed by load uh, on the other hand which is the real value of s if you convert this uh, polar value to rectangle rectangular value so we'll get one two eight plus j one zero zero four volt ampere whereas p this is the value of p and this is the value of of q all right so just pick this value and write it here and pick this value right in here the imaginary part of s complex power that gives us 1004 verse and then uh, work example the following work example and unbalanced three wire star star connected system has brn so this is the value of vyn and the value of vbn but somehow we refer to the uh, impedance it shows that the elements or the quantity is different from one to another so this is a zero r okay but this one we have 50 80 125 so what you need to do is calculate line currents ir iy and ib complex power consumed by each phase 
load and then total complex power so uh, this is uh, as a total so you need to calculate the total uh, active power right so as well as total reactive power and then the total apparent power absorbed so by the so by the by the load okay so solution so this is the how the load graph or how the circuit looks like so, so we have uh, this is the source all right this is the supply or the source okay and then connected star to star load okay and in between we have db the potential of v v and n over here so this is small n this is capital capital n and then this is the notation which is v n v and n so step one determine v v and n so we have done this in uh, previous topic under uh, subtopic of millman's theorem so we have seen that uh, some equation is required in order to figure out or to calculate the value of V and N. So this is how the uh, formula looks like. So we have VRN over ZRN, so VYN, the second phase over ZYN, as well as the third phase VBN over Z, ZBN. So all this over 1 over ZRN plus 1 over ZYN plus 1 over Z, ZBN. So you just substitute all the value here, VRN again. VYN, BBN, and uh, the impedance value, VRN, ZRM, ZYN, ZBN, into this VNN equation, and finally, you will get the value of VNN, which is 60, with uh, 66 minus 1, 51 degree volt. Okay. Then next, you are able to calculate uh, line currents IR, IY, and IB. So, IR, VRN minus, okay, this is referring to Ohm's law, I equal to V over Z, by the way. So, IR, if you refer to this uh, diagram, so you will see that, so the flow of IR is over here, okay, is actually uh, flowing inside this, all right, this circle. Okay, and then from here, so we are the potential with different with different between VRN and VNN. So you can actually uh, plot from here. This is VRN, and then this is V. This is VNN. So as the IR go, so the loop you can see the IR go from left to right. Okay, I write or I draw the second cycle over here, second cycle over here. So this is in the same direction. So we have positive VRN and comes to VNN. It is oppose the VNN direction. So this is the direction of your IR, which is or you consider it uh, CCW counterclockwise, counter counterclockwise, and it is actually opposing VNN. And then you just put uh, negative over here or minus VNN, and then all this over v vrn okay so remember vrn so minus vnn over zrn so this is equal to i ir okay and then again substitute the value of vrn so this is from the uh, initial uh, analysis so this is what we just calculate and ir give us 0, 3.08 minus 52.6 degree so and then the second one is uh, iy so similarly we can see this is vym minus vnn and you may reflex to uh, this circle or this loop all right all here this loop okay the one i draw in uh, yellow here so this is Direction of VYN, so this is the direction of IY through this loop, okay. And then again, we go up here and oppose the direction of V and N, all right. So that's why we have VYN, so this is the VYN, okay. 
So minus V and N. Alright, so over V by N. Okay, to get the value of V, I, I, Y. Okay, so just to fill again the value of V, Y, N, V, N, N. So this is the uh, an answer of I, Y. So same procedure, same, pr same process you do with uh, I, I, B. So let me change to blue color. So you do with VBN and VNN. If you can refer to the uh, the loop, or you can draw the loop of IB. So here are how it looks like. So this is the direction of VBN. Okay, this is the direction of your IB, and then this is the same direction. So we have positive over here, and when it goes down again, I write it here and it goes down and it's still opposing b b and n this means we have b b n minus b and n over v b b n to get the formula for i i b okay just again so to this value this value and the z b n value so i b equal to 23.67 uh, 104 and 6 degree APR RMS. So again, use Ohm's law to find phase voltage. So the voltage draw across each star connected load. So this is what this is happening at at load will be as follows: voltage drop across VRN. So this is uh, VRN. Okay, let me change the color again. So voltage drop across VRN. So R uh, to N over here, so uh, arms law V equal to I R, so substitute the value of I and Z uh, the impedance, so uh, you will get the value of R N. So voltage crop cross V Y N, so here okay V equal to I and Z, so we have I Y Z Y N, substitute the value of I Y and Z. So this is the value of V, B, Y, N. Voltage drop across V, B, N. So we have uh, here the voltage drop of V, B, N. So we have uh, I, B, N. Sorry, I, B over here. I, B. Multiply by uh, Z, B, N to get the value of V, B, N. Okay, the voltage drop at or across uh, impedance of B, B, N, right? Then, step number four, calculate complex power consumed by each phase load. So, complex power consumed by ZRN is SRN, VRN, IR con conjugate. So, VRN, we just obtain. And then, this is a conjugate. So, IR, so pick from the uh, early calculation and this is the value of uh, complex power consumed by Z, ZRN okay and then uh, for the second phase which is YN similar process as YN VYN multiplied by YIN conjugate so this is the value of VYN we obtain in this calculation okay this is the one and then put it here or start to the value here so this is i y conjugate much my earlier we got this one and then the vernier value is written over here okay so similarly for vbn uh sorry sbn okay we uh consume by zbn okay this is the value 5 kilo 5.7 kilo uh, volt ampere so total so again just sum up uh, each individual uh, complex power consumed by R phase, Y phase, and S B B phase. So finally, this is the S total equal to 15.4 degree volt ampere. Right. So what about the active power? So this is actually if you uh, convert in this is polar. If you convert to rectangular, so they will give you this uh, five six. 8, 4, plus G, 1, 5, 
Alright. Uh, the value of V, V A. Okay, okay. okay, so this is again, this is the value of P. 5, 6, 4, 8. So this value of 4, Q. Okay, so pick this value. Go here and pick this value. Go here. This is the value of uh, active power as well as reactive power. So finally, total appearance. So the middle of S. So 5, 8, 5, 8. So this is the uh, polar value of this rectangular or you can simply pick from here okay so exercise avalanche 415 blah 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 this is a very good exercise hopefully i will make it as one of your assessment later and thank you very much again for your time enjoy the video and so i think we have done uh, we have come to the end of the presentation, uh, the end of topic number four, and we see you. I see you again in topic number five. Thank you very much.